please be forewarned i am no way in any shape or form a professional i probably said a bunch of stuff that is incorrect i did my best um so keep that in mind but there should be a lot of good information here for you flashback so we done messed up our airbags whoopsies so it's all it's all fun and games until you rip your airbag out uh, I knew that I needed basically I think it's called like a, a cradle basically this bag free floats on the axle and then it lands in a cradle um, but what happened was is basically these little nut search that go in the plastic pulled out um, we were mashing on it pretty hard <laughs> end of flashback all right guys what is up what is going on Today we have another project. Um, we're really trying to get the truck and the trailer all dialed in before we start moving around a lot again. So today is something that is kind of has to do with the airbags that we put on in our earlier video. Um, we have these Daystar airbag cradles. Um, the reason we need to add these is because we love to off-road the truck. Anything four by, pre-running. I mean, we grew up in California. There's so much BLM land. Um, you guys have seen the suspension on our truck. We have 2.5 inch bypass shocks back here that were aftermarket added. And then we have 2.5s in the front here. We have four shocks in the rear on this truck. In the front, we have the pin top Carly suspension, which it's Carly in the rear as well. We have 35 inch tires. So basically we love to use and slightly abuse this truck. So the first time we went out, we had an issue with the airbags. I kind of knew that it was probably gonna happen, um, but we went ahead and took the truck out anyways. I took it easy, but by the time we had done our day run and got back to camp, the lower portion of the airbag had pulled out it's just bolted into some plastic with some nut certs it's not super strong so basically what these cups do these cups here you can see they attach to the axle side and then the airbag is only attached to the top part of the frame when you droop out the suspension the whole axle droops out the airbags aren't basically your limiting strap or limiting your wheel travel. These say airbag cradle. Daystar's airbag cradle mounts to your truck's lower suspension, providing more room for the airbag to safely cycle with no loss of overall wheel travel. So it's exactly what we need. We'll bolt these in and then we'll, we'll try to give you guys a couple good views so you can understand what's going on. Um, and then another uh, good thing about these is when we don't have the trailer on, it's not going to be super stiff with the airbags. Um, we were running like the minimum, like five PSI or something around town. It wasn't as smooth as you would expect. I mean, it was still pretty rigid in the back. So now with these, when we're empty, basically the lower section of the airbag won't even be touching the axle. So you can see we have the airbag here. Here's the upper mount. We have the airbag, the lower mount. The cradle is gonna get bolted right here to the axle. But you can see, listen to this. That's, that's not good. Um, that was the problem we created because essentially we drooped out the truck too much and the lower airbag got yanked out. Airbag one is out. So here's the airbag that we had in there. We have the airlift 5000s. So this is the upper mount and the airbag here. This is our lower mount. So normally you can see these long all threads here. Normally this boats around the axle and everything is fine and dandy in a normal standard truck. The problem we had was 
this is mounted to the lower axle, all right? Your axle tube goes through here. This is bolted to here, and it's bolted to the top of your frame. The problem is, is when you fully droop out your axle, meaning, you know, your rock crawling, your four buying, your pre-running, this bag right here is limiting our travel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this bolted to the top just like normal. We're gonna ditch the lower mounts and we're gonna add this cradle. So basically when we're off-roading, the airbag's gonna be mounted like this. So now the rear axle can go like this. Hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you can see my face, not that it really matters. So the airbag stays in one spot, the axle goes like this. So basically all we gotta do is bolt the cups to the axle, put the airbag back in. I didn't really need to take the airbag out, but I think it'll make it easier in the long run. I just have the bag clamped in here with a vice grip. Hopefully you guys can see that. I have the Daystar cups just sitting in, um, in place, all lined up perfectly. I check to make sure when the suspension's traveling, they will be landing in the right spot. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and jack up the rear of the truck so I get more room to work in there. So normally they just bolt on, but Ram for some reason has it all boxed in and there's no way to bolt it on. So I'm gonna have to drill into the axle, not the axle tubing, the axle mount and tap it and put a bolt. So it's a little bit more work, but it's okay. I went ahead and drilled a hole, and then now we're gonna go ahead and run a tap through there. So basically what a tap does is it makes threads. So then we can just put the cup in, bolt it down. A little pro tip here for, for all the wives out there, if you ever, ever see your husband, boyfriend, whatever, working with a tap and or die, just, just walk away. It is the most frustrating and like one of the hardest things to do. We finally got our first bolt. Um, we got the, the hole drilled and we got it tapped. So basically now that cup is just gonna go on, it's gonna get bolted down and then we bolt the top of the airbag on. This is what I was talking about. It's all boxed in here on this side and on the front. So there's no way to just use a standard nut and bolt. It's a pretty cool little system. Right now the suspension is fully drooped out. So when this comes down, this is gonna land right inside. Gives us full travel. Now we have all the weight on the truck. You can see the airbag is still loose. That's how it's supposed to be. And then basically when we air up, um, it's just gonna seat itself right in that cup and it'll hold the weight of our uh, fifth wheel. All right guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure you subscribe, like this video and drop a comment. Um, the Daystar Cradles will be in a link below in case you want to pick those up. Same as the airbags. Um, and do keep in mind that if you purchase through that link, it is an Amazon affiliate and we will get a small percentage. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments or send me an email, whatever you need.